it's here. It's here. It's the fourth beta, the long awaited fourth beta of iOS 16. I'm gonna show you everything that is new in this update in this video. And there's surprisingly quite a few things to discuss. So let's go ahead and jump into everything new in the fourth beta of iOS 16. Starting off with what is usually a given, but I feel like it's worth mentioning extra in this video. Apple has released this beta with a ton of bug fixes. I mean, a legitimate ton of them. Going through the release notes, so many bugs that had been reported in earlier betas have now been fixed across the board. So beta four so far should be very smooth comparatively to beta three. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I have not enough time with it to say, you know, for sure, yes or no, it is, is better. But Apple really did list a massive list of bugs that have been corrected. So here I am with my iPhone updated to iOS 16 beta four. This is for developers. The public beta will likely be coming shortly. So first I'm gonna jump into messages. There were some new changes to how Apple is working with editing and unsending messages. So as you can see here, Wes and I have been testing this a little bit. One of the first changes is that you can now see previous versions of edited messages. So if I zoom in a little bit here, I messaged Wes and I had edited it. So my original message was, Wes, you're such a dweeb. But then it's been edited to, you're such a cool person. Me and the recipient can now view those edits on a message. So really nice to be able to see the history of a message. Now, speaking of editing messages, you can edit a message for up to 15 minutes after it has been sent. And one message can be edited up to five times. When you're unsending a message though, it can only be unsent within the first two minutes. When you unsend a message, there is no history or viewable image of that message. It is simply unsent and no longer viewable. So this message here was sent half hour ago. I can no longer edit or unsend it. It is simply out there for Wes to see. For CarPlay users, there are three new wallpaper options. Thanks to Z or Sam Maisie on Twitter that sent this in. You can see what they look like. Three new wallpapers for CarPlay. When you go to notifications, you can see this new graphic here at the top, choosing how you display your notifications as a count, as a stack, or as a list. For comparison, this is what the previous beta looked like. It, it really just gave you an option, you tapped into it, and you had to choose from these. So now there's a new graphical or visual way to distinguish how those different notifications are displayed. I think this is a big step forward, makes it much more clear at what those various options actually mean. A minor tweak here to Apple editing a wallpapers or lock screens rather, you can see there's this new add widgets text when you're adding this screen. So before it would look something like this on this exact same screen. There's no text there, there's no plus button, nothing to really let you know that you can add a widget to that box other than just personal knowledge. Now Apple's added that very specific text to make it easier to know that you can just tap and add a widget. So really nice to be able to do that. Now, by the way, since we're talking about the lock screen, Apple did add the new activity feed live API, the live activity API for your lock screen. Developers can use this to show things like your Uber Eats delivery on its way or pizza delivery on its way, a bunch of other features that allow you to show live updates right here on your lock screen. So the new Activity Kit Live API is available to developers and hopefully we'll see some nice apps upon release. Here's another minor one. Apple has updated the astronomy face for your iPhone when you're looking at the solar system view. If you get a little bit closer here and actually keep things in focus, look at all the planets and compare it to the last version. The sun in the center is now like blown out and far whiter. I think there's more definition on the Earth and Saturn, if I pretend to know my planets. Uh, yeah, Apple has changed this face just a little bit for the lock screen. So it was a minor tweaks here to the lock screen. So that is it. That is all I found so far, but by no means is that all that has changed. There are likely a bunch of other changes that we have not encountered yet. And I want you guys to help find them. 
If you guys happen to find any changes of your own, drop me a line over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you found something that I have not yet uncovered, I will add it and credit you in the linked article down below in the description. Check out that article for all the latest changes because I will be updating it if I find additional changes or you guys find additional changes after this video goes live. Thank you again for all the help and I'll see you guys in the next video.